guys, welcome to Moving On TV. Lauren Hope Glory here. I'm about to interview Laura Ward from Freedom for the Children UK about the silent protest walks that are going to be going on across the UK on the 22nd of August. Um, because we want to know where are all the children going? Millions of children are going missing. Millions of children have gone missing from around the world. And no one is doing anything about it. The media are not doing anything about it. So it's up to us to go out there and find out what is going on and to end it, to end it now. So I'm going to be interviewing Laura for a newsflash and um, to find out about this protest, this silent peaceful walk. Hi, hey. uh, how are you today? Yeah, I'm really good. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. having me. It's beautiful to have you on here now. Um, so as the first thing I want to do with you is to get this out really quickly about the peaceful march for freedom for the children. Yeah. The Global Walk for Change and Awareness of Child Exploitation and Human Trafficking on the 22nd of August. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, I've got the poster in front of me. But it's not saying where it's happening, if you want to tell us a little bit about the times where, you know, when, when and where is this going to happen? Could you tell yeah. me that first? Thanks. Laura. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much for the opportunity to do that. So first of all, we've got a Facebook group called Freedom for the Children UK. So all the events that we're doing and all the people we're collaborating with are help and all the information is in there if you want to go and promote you want to hand out flyers we've got graphics profile pictures banners so we've got loads of stuff in there in that group so that's freedom for the for freedom for the children uk um we've got about nine different events so two weeks ago we just had london and we had about 200 people in this group we've now nearly got 5,000 people in this group and we've got about nine different locations around the uk they're all happening on the 22nd of august they're all starting around 1 p.m. Some may be a little bit earlier, but you're not going to miss it if you get there, there at 1. And the locations we have at the moment are Newport in Wales. That's Newport near Cardiff. We've got Bristol. We've got London. We have got Newcastle, Manchester, Liverpool, Aberdeen. And I think Dundee is just getting worked out as well. But if you're in the group, if you go to the group, and I haven't maybe said a location, the whole point of the group that we're building is so for this event and future events, you can go in there. It's a really proactive place. You're going to have everything you need to actually go and help out support at a walk as well. You know, like if you want to just, you know, go and hand out flyers, if you want to share the event and all the events as they go live are in there it's a really easy to use group all the information is laid out really really easily as well so think of it as like a resource center for these events that we're going to be hosting because obviously this isn't going to be the last one we're just going to keep going with this and just drum up more and more people until people start listening to us basically okay oh so right okay thank you so much for that okay so the facebook page is called Freedom for the Children UK, is that right? Yes, yeah. So that's okay. our group. That's that's where everybody is. Everyone's in there talking about um, taking action, how they can help. It really is a place where, say, you're in Birmingham and you just decide, you know, what, I really want to do something. I actually want to host an event, but I'm no idea where I want where I, where I can start, or I'm afraid to do it by myself which is fine like a lot of people are like that and i totally understand it so this yeah. group is like a place where you can go in and go hey look i'm in birmingham i really want to get something going who else is in birmingham and it's ha that's how we've gone from having one event to like nine is people just going in there with like our support and encouragement and just asking hey I'm, I'm in this area who else is here who else wants to get a little team together and we'll start something and as soon as you know you get people like that everyone else floods to help oh because gosh. everyone nobody wants to be the first which i totally get i totally get it but when they when when two people do step forward especially if it's like a couple of people they just get they get inundated with help because everyone else mm. is happy to follow so that's the group and then all the event pages all the the links to the actual live events in different locations are all in that group as well 
Okay. So what group are you in? What is your particular group? So I'm in Freedom for the Children UK. I'm the oh, admin. I mean, which that. location? Which location? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm going to I'm going to London. I'm going to be yeah, going the to one London. in London. Okay. Yeah. Do you yeah. have a Do you have a separate poster for the London one, or is it that that everybody is just taking the generic one and they're putting the details on there where they're meeting? In no, the I mean I'm not sure which one you have, but in in the in the group there is a there is a profile picture, there is a cover photo banner. There is a little leaflet and a big leaflet with all the information for each event. So if you're in Newcastle and you want to hand out flyers in Newcastle, there is one specifically for Newcastle. So That's it's fantastic. all it's all in there. Yeah, everything. We made it as easy as possible for people to take action because I know that people want to do stuff. So that's why the group is there is just to make it super straightforward where you can just go and get it and just go and hand out flyers one weekend if you want to do that. Do you know what that's I mean? Fantastic. If that's how you want to support, then, it, then it's available for you. Okay. Now, we had a bit of a chat before this, and I was looking at the leaflet, and remember I said to you, I saw the number 8 million. I thought, oh, surely that's some kind. You know, people see that, and they think, that must be a type of error yeah. or something. But you're saying no, which is yeah. unbelievable. I mean, I've known a lot about this, and I know how many kids are going missing, but I never realized it was up to that, those kind of levels. Do you want to talk a little bit? about that laura yeah absolutely yeah absolutely i think you know given given what we're actually trying to deal with here anyway this is always going to be one of those things where really siphoning out those actual like perfect statistics is going to be so hard because it's hidden from us intentionally these numbers are intentionally hard to find and you get different sources that are going to try and you know, be in conflict with others purposefully so people don't take action on the seriousness of this problem. But just in the US and the UK alone, you've got a million. Because you've got 800,000 in the, in the US and at least 200,000 in the UK. So these are well-developed countries that these children are going missing from. So this is a we, year. Sorry, you're talking yeah, about... Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is in a year. Yeah, in a year. Unbelievable. Yeah, Sorry, absolutely. Yeah, yeah no. So when you start factoring in um, these places that have been struck by natural disaster and war and they've just got absolutely no support and their countries are just really on their asses. that these children here are especially vulnerable. The women and children in these places are so vulnerable because if they go missing, who's there to even fight for them? And secondly, they're just oppressed, you know what I mean? Like their voices aren't heard in any way. And it depends as well how how deep you want to look at this i mean i believe there's something a lot more sinister going on and it's part of a much greater plan an evil plan and these people want vulnerable children on tap that's what they want do you know what i mean that they want these people these children and when you think about like how frequently they want these children to be available and how little these children mean to them that it's just another child they can do what they want to and they know they can get another one as and when they want like those numbers can get up really really quickly do you know what i mean so the, know, the and we are going to go into that in the longer interview but this is a new slash to get out the information about what you're doing on 22nd yeah. august um so is there anything else you'd like to say to the general public in order to get them involved because a lot of people either they don't want to see it, it's in their face now, but they don't want to see it, or they just want to push it under the carpet. So to me, I go out there and say, it could be, it's going to be you next. It's going to be your child next. So you really need yeah. to wake up now and do something about it. So what would be your quick message to the general public now, Laura? I think, I think if you're, I think there's a, uh, the two kinds of people out there there's people that do want to do something but they're not sure where to start so join our group because you're going to get the support that you need first of all to be able to take action and that's going to pick up momentum really quickly so if you're that person that's fine we've got the absolute perfect place for you to be able to take the action that you want to and feel like you're involved with making a difference if you're the other person and maybe you don't want to look at it it's uncomfortable for you like i get it i get it like nobody goes down this rabbit hole and thinks oh this is all right like but the fact of the matter is like these children are being abused they are being tortured they are being murdered they are being raped 
Like it is happening. And if you've got a child in your life, if you've got a kid or a niece or a nephew, or you know, you've got family, friends, or children, like just think about that child in that position and really, really feel it. Because when you start to do that and start to think like how horrific and terrifying and scary that is and it's happening all the time and really connect with it like you be you will be compelled to take action you will have to be because these children have nobody looking after them nobody protecting them and like when i if i ever think about my nieces going through what these children are going through like it, it just breaks my heart i can't i cannot live with that information and not do anything about it so this is really all about connecting I think to the reality of what's going on, no matter how uncomfortable it is, because these kids don't get to turn away. These kids don't get to go, no, or these kids don't get to go, this is uncomfortable for me. I don't want to be here. That's not the reality they're living in. And it requires us to stand up for them and take action for them so that they don't have to endure it anymore. Okay. We're their guardians. We have to protect them. Absolutely. 100%. Okay. Is there anything at all else? And do you need anything else? It sounds like you're very organised. <laughs> trying to be. Pardon? <laughs> trying to be, yeah. Trying, trying to, to do be. your best. But do you need anything else from at all that you need to put out to the public? Any any support of any kind that you may need for the twenty second? Yeah. So I think always, always we need volunteers. So things like stewards, people that uh, want to help communicate with us and just make sure everyone in the procession is safe and um, that, that would really help us a lot anyone that's maybe a professional um cameraman or is willing to do that um for us so that we can film what's happening um and just just promotion so if you know of anybody that knows of somebody that's got influence like all that stuff is great because we can't rely on the mainstream media you know so you know anything anything any way you think you should help with is would be greatly appreciated yeah 100 okay. percent. well it's interesting because um i've done quite a few interviews news flashes with geza geza tarjani mm. who he'd love to join in some way and also alan Merritt and john wedger they're all doing similar work now and i think it's really all about us it's getting so huge now we all need to come together. Yeah. Together. But um, just something came into my, my mind there. I live in High Wycombe in Buckinghamshire. So if someone like me, for example, and which I probably would love to do this, would like to do their own march around where we are, how would I go about starting my own then? What, what would I need to do? So it's actually quite a fairly simple process. So either you could join our group and we can get all the support in there. But essentially the first step is just to decide that you want to do it and find people that will be like a core team with you. So even if it's you and a, a mate or you and two other people and you just dis all decide together, yeah, we're going to make this happen. And the next thing is really lining out a route, letting the police know, you know, getting promotional stuff together and just asking for help all the time. Like, it's always about just where else can you connect to? Who else do you know? Who else do you know? But the biggest thing is just making that decision, really, honestly. It's just going, yeah, we're picking this date and we're doing it. And then the rest kind of just falls into place. I mean, I'm not a pro at it. This is my first time too. Like, I want everyone to know that. Like, I've not got loads of experience. I just found myself in a position where... I felt I, want, I, could, I could take action and I could make a difference. And then I just learn as I go, as I've, as I've been doing it. Exactly. And it's working, you know? So It's just like me. I decided to run the new MSM. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You Always start the decision. And creativity and put it into saving humanity. Well, that's yeah. beautiful. Thank you so much, Laura. And You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Basically, everybody knows how they can get in touch with Laura. She has said that. And we'll also put that down below. You can also contact me on movingontv1 at gmail.com and I will put you forward so you can find out more information and we will put a poster up. So uh, please get yourself to a march. Stand tall for those kids. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they are, they can't, you know, a child is innocent. A child yeah. needs to be protected by an adult. 
and and that's what we're there for we've got to be their bodies their voices their everything we've got to go out there and do it so thank you so much laura it's a pleasure to have you on moving on tv a very thank great, you. brave woman thank you <laughs> take care now and um i'll let you know when this is on by a sec Okay, I, I just wanted to add on the root as a code still. So <laughs> you're, gonna start, you're gonna start at the London Eye and then yeah. tell us about the root. So we're gonna start at the London Eye, uh, we're gonna go over the bridge, up Constitution Hill, uh, and Grosvenor Place, around the back of Buckingham Palace to a place called Wellington Arch, where it's a public place. We're gonna sit down and do a sit down meditation at three PM and that's being synchronized across all the events in the UK. So we guess that that's kind of one of the most important bits is that we're doing these sit down meditations there. But I mean, you know, you guys don't need to know the route. We'll know the route. You're going to be following us and making noise. And that's the main thing. Of course. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I just needed to check that with you and I'm just adding that on to the news. Okay. Session. Perfect. <laughs>